Well, 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 we got a welcome surprise this morning with the announcement of the Planet Zoo Conservation Pack. This is going to be our new DLC coming, I believe, June 21st, so just right around the corner here. Absolutely cannot wait for this. It looks incredible. Let's dive in and take a look at all the amazing stuff that is going to be coming to our zoos. Let's jump in here. Hey, yo, zookeepers. Plot twist. You may have already clued in from our special stream yesterday that we were we were here with some exciting news. The next Planet Zoo pack will be the conservation pack arriving on the 21st of June. We are sure you have questions about update 1.10. We will have more news on that for you soon. But for now, let's take a look at all the exciting stuff coming your way for this summer. Discover five new endangered animals from all around the world and over 150 new scenery pieces with a strong focus on the amazing work that zoos do for conser ah, conservation efforts worldwide. So the animals that we are getting, be in awe of the majesty of Mongolia's Shavalski's horse, the last truly wild horse in the world, and currently listed as endangered. Watch the Amur leopard as it prowls, a critically endangered leopard from the border areas of China and Russia. Swing freely with the endangered Siamang from protected areas of Indonesia and Malaysia, the largest of all gibbons. Enjoy the sun with the scimitar-horned oryx, an antelope from North Africa that is now listed as extinct in the wild. Last but not least, marvel at the axolotl, our critically endangered new habitat. I think that's supposed to say exhibit, but it says habitat. Uh, animal that was originally from Lake Chalco and Lake Xochimilco. I think I pronounced that right. Builders will have a lot of exciting things coming from them too, with over 150 new scenery items to enjoy. Conservation is about more than just animals, and to reflect that, you're in for a real treat with the foliage included in this pack. Plant life conservation is critical due to the unfortunate impact of monoculture and the depletion of natural water resources. To highlight this aspect of conservation, we're adding some foliage pieces such as the tomato plant, fig tree, and Korean pine. You can also create a haven of sweeping meadow flowers including foliage such as buttercups, oxeye daisies, and poppies. Fantastic. Uh, we also saw in the trailer sunflowers and a whole host of other new foliage. Furthermore, you'll gain a range of scenery items with a strong theme of self-sustainability, such as a set of wooden slat off-grid pieces, a new 3D printed concrete wall set, okay, grass roof tiles, finally, make our making our green roofs much easier to make and even backstage display only items such as a rake hose and wheelbarrow this is the pack we have been asking for for so very long here and yeah cannot wait i'm not at all sure what these things are here in this screenshot um if they're supposed to be like little siamang statues but why they're in the tree i don't know you can see the green roof here in the background. Yeah, fabulous. So, feeling inspired to take up your own conservation efforts? Give it a try with our new time scenario. Head on over to the Turtle Rock Wildlife Orphanage, where you'll be challenged to rescue, rehabilitate, document. That's interesting. We have not had that before. So maybe that's a hint at a new mechanic coming. We'll have to wait and see for the 1.10 update announcement. And release as many animals as possible. Sustainability and education will also be a huge part of this scenario, so you need to power your zoo with renewable energy. Host a range of plant diversity. Again, possible new mechanic coming. And make sure there are plenty of educator areas for your guests to learn from. Planet Zoo Conservation Pack will be available on Steam from June 21st. As mentioned before, we will have more news on update 1.10 for you soon. Yes, absolutely. This is going to be amazing. So what are you most excited for in this pack? Is it one of the animals or maybe some of the foliage? Let us know. Honestly, I don't know which is more exciting. The fact that we're getting five animals that we have absolutely desperately wanted in game since the beginning. We're getting two animals that I modded myself. The uh, 
Amber Leopard and the Scimitar Horned Oryx originally. Although I think Narwhaler did a, a version that's quite a bit better than what I did. Uh, um, we're getting the Shawalski's horse finally. We've been asking for that. We've been asking for some type of given since the Southeast Asia pack. We're finally getting the Saimang, and it looks like from the trailer and from some of the screenshots, they may actually be able to brachiate. And we're finally getting the axolotl as an exhibit animal, which is fabulous. Um, let me know down below, what are you most excited for? You're excited for the building pieces, the backstage pieces, the animals? What is it? This, mm, what do you think is going to be an update 1.10? We'll hear about that shortly. And uh, yeah, let me know. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.